Hello and welcome once again to this module number 9. Now we are actually going to start learning assembling our own climate clock. So we are going to put the components together and I am sure you are excited about this. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates. So in this particular module number 9, we are going to put all this 3 P10 LED display, put them together on this frame and screw them up so that you know how these connections are made for P10, alright. But let me first uh, demonstrate you how we are going to do that. Well, we have already seen that one LED display has about 16 by 32 LED. So what we are going to do, we are going to put these 3 of them together and 16 by 32 and there are 3 of them in series in a way. So there are 96 LEDs in a row and 16 in a column. When you put together, you will get 1536 LED all together. Well, this is how the back side what it is going to look like and you have to be careful about the socket that we have at the back side that I have already shown you. The, this socket at the back side, this is the FRP and then you have to be mindful about the arrows that are there and know which direction the arrow is and then you have to actually know the power connector. So these are the three things that we have to see and this is how the back side of all those put together will look like. You can see on the screen all the arrows should be pointing in the same direction, very very important. What I am going to do is I am going to start this assembly by putting my module frame in the right direction. I need to put my frame in the direction that there are arrows are visible. You see these arrows are visible, okay. And I have to arrange my LED panel according to this two arrows, you know. This two arrow here should actually match this two arrow. Just to be ensure that it is in the right direction, uh, what I will do is I will put it first at the back side and make sure that the flow is same and then I will flip them. This is the front side, wherever you see the arrow mark, this is your front side, okay. Let me start doing it right away. So here is, you see I am matching this arrow and this arrow is upward, this arrow is downward. Why? Because I am going to flip it right there. So when I am going to flip it, it is going to be the right one. So basically what I need to do is it is going to be like this. Then I will put my second one like this, okay. So you see this arrow, this arrow, there's only direction, these are at the back side and I am telling you again, we are going to flip it, so it will follow the upper arrow. And then I have the third P10 LED module, again I am going to put in this particular direction. Okay, this is how just for your, your understanding, what you need to do is, we need to put it at the back side first, you know, but we know that this arrow is coming down, but we have to turn it, so they match this arrow. But when you are putting it back side like this, all arrows are arranged. What I am going to do is, I am going to put it actually the real. So when I flip it like this, what will happen is, both arrows are going to match. So up and this side, I am going to take it also and flip it. See, it is going to go up. And I am going to take this one and again, it is going to go up. Alright, so this is how the front screen of your climate clock is going to look like and you see how beautifully they are arranged and they are so perfect in size that you don't have to really worry about anything. Now you don't see even that there are three of them, but actually there are three P10 LED display modules. Okay, now these all LED display modules are actually loose, they do not have, they are not fixed with the frame. Now we need to fix it. What we need to do is we need to flip it carefully. These are loose, so handle it carefully and we are going to flip it like this, okay. So this is the back side now and you see there are these holes here and these holes are particularly given so that the hole of uh, the P10 LED display will match this hole and then you can screw it. So two, each will require four, then four here and then four here. So there are 12 such screws are there. I hope you can see this, this is how the flat head screw are there and uh, there is a cross on the top. The kind of screwdriver that you need is again having this cross, you see. So you need a screwdriver with this cross and I am going to just show you how we can put one of them together. Okay, 
So this is fixed and now what you can do is one by one all of them you can fix it so that you get Okay, don't you think it's very easy, right? All of us can do this and uh, irrespective of whether you are a young student or your teacher or you are working in a company, wherever you are, you can actually be the part of this and make your own climate clock in a very, very simple manner. All right, so it's very simple. I am just fixing my last uh, screw. Okay, so all uh, each of this pitain display is fixed, four screw here, four here and four here and now that are very firm and let me show you the other side. This is how it is going to look like, right? So it is quite fixed now and it is quite robust, okay? So now you can actually play with it. Alright, so that is the first step of making your own climate clock. We have now connected three pitain LED display with the frame. So that's it in this module. Next module we are going to fix the two more components that is the power supply and WF1 controller that is again very important components. Let us do that in the next module. So thank you very much. Stay tuned.